How are you? Good, you? Very good. Welcome to Monaco. Thank you. Wanted to show you here. Uh, it's my first ever school, so I started, I was like, like this until, uh, until 12 years old. I started missing school because of karting here. So you were the school rebel then? You're the one, ah, oh, that's the absent again today. Yeah, but to be honest, I've always had very nice uh, teachers that, were, that understood the situation. Uh, obviously, sometimes it was a bit on the limit because maybe it was a bit too much and I was missing a lot of school, but at the end, uh, looking back, I think we did the, the right choices. I, I'm pretty sure you did, yeah. Ah, ça va alors. Si tu veux venir, Ok, super. Ok. I guess it was a fairly ambitious goal of ours to walk through a busy Monaco streets with you <laughs> on a Thursday morning before coming up to the race. Yeah, it has changed a little bit because obviously last year I would go around the streets with absolutely no problems. Now, <clears throat> I guess it's a good sign when, yeah. when people start to recognise you. So this is a cracking view of the racetrack and... Where is it that you used to watch from as a kid? The yellow, the big one. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but... Yeah? The, the, the very big one at the exit of turn one. And who did you watch with? Uh, one of my best friends. Uh, we, are, we are still best friends now. I, I'll tell you what, this is a perfect spot. You yeah, can it see is. everything. Beautiful boat. After you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, jump. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you consider yourself a title contender this year or are you looking at this as sort of groundwork, preparation if you like for the future? Uh, obviously I'm going to go for it uh, anyway. Uh, obviously it's my first year in a top team so I still uh, got a lot to learn but on the other hand I want to do uh, the best results possible. Something else that's pretty striking is the performance you put in after your father's death, so a huge amount of pressure. Yeah, it was a very, very difficult weekend. Uh, I've had very difficult for practices where I didn't really have my head into racing, which was obviously normal. But then uh, I put myself uh, alone after the, the free practice, asked myself what he wanted me to do in this moment, and the answer came pretty quickly. He wanted me to win, I'm pretty sure. It was the perfect weekend to uh, uh, to honour him the, the way he deserved and to thank him for everything he had done. An incredible memory it was, of course, Jules getting the team's first point here on these streets of Monaco, something that, that we all treasure. I mean, I'm sure for you as well, looking back and, and racing here and being here reminds you of those great times. I can remember, obviously, uh, uh, at the time, my father and also his father called uh, on the night and my father was with me, so uh, we spoke all together on the phone and it was a uh, great, great memory. Off camera, you said that lots of people do confuse you with your because you are very similar. I mean, the mannerisms, you're almost like brothers. Um, is that something that, that, I don't know, comforts you in a way, or do you find it hard? I... No, I don't find it hard. I mean, anytime someone calls me Jules, so it, it gives me a flat smile on my face. I don't see it as a, as a bad thing. Uh, he was a great person, we were very close, but on the other hand, Anytime someone remembers of him makes me makes me smile because he he needs to be remembered in this sport. Uh, he was a great driver but also a great person, and um, and if I can uh, uh, make the people remember of him, then uh, then I'm very happy about this. And and do you feel a sense of responsibility for sort of taking on the baton for him and fulfilling his potential at Ferrari? Well, of course, I believe there are two persons for which I am. Uh, more than me, obviously, I am also doing all of this for me because it's, um, it's the way I, I like living and I, and I love my job and I, I love doing what I'm doing, but I also have my, my father and Jules that has helped me massively to get there and, uh, and I'll give absolutely everything to make them proud from, from up there and to thank them in the best way possible in, uh, for all the things they have helped me for.